Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. We've been a little behind real-time video and I'm doing some catching up. I hope you enjoy this video which is going to be about sailing fast and sailing across the Indian Ocean to Mauritius where we are now. In this video we leave Indonesia, departing from Lombok, taking the passage between Lombok and Bali which is known to have some high currents so it's important to leave at the right time. And during this departure we had a notable speed record for Biotrack that is sustained speed over time because we left with an outward current and then just as we started through the pass, the winds piped up. We are Pierre, Lisa and Tiller, selling an Ultramare 5X catamaran around the world. In our last video, we sailed to Lombok from ba Labuan Bajo with absolutely no wind. It's a beautiful sunset. But unfortunately, no wind. We're struggling. We spent three months in this beautiful country, first entering at Tuwal, selling up to Raja Ampat, and selling back towards uh, Lombok region through the Wakatobi region, uh, scuba diving all the way. A beautiful, beautiful trip. Indonesians are so friendly and always smiling. We just loved Indonesia. So here's some highlights and some very short clips of our time in Indonesia. We were busy getting the boat ready for the Indian Ocean crossing, checking the rigging, getting fuel, minor repairs. It's a busy time. I think those are heavy. <laughs> <laughs> So Kara's doing lots of jobs. One of them is getting diesel from the gas station, but luckily we've got some people to help. Luma and I were getting ready for the passage with trips to the market and preparing food. You're making vegetarian spring rolls. Some of the rally boats began to leave, but we were waiting for parts from Victor, who is arriving in a couple days. Happy Africa! 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 Happy Welcome to Biotrek. You arrived late Hi. last night, all the way from... Barcelona. And how long was the flight? Uh, it was two days. Grew up in Houston on Galveston Bay, so I uh, sailed every day. Uh, we used to sail to school, because I lived on a peninsula and there was no bridge. Uh, we swam to school occasionally. I uh, joined the Coast Guard after a stint of eight years in the Army. and. Uh, Ended up retiring out of the Coast Guard, um, and, and COVID hit, and got laid off. And what am I going to do? <laughs> so 
So I went and got my captain's license and I've been sailing pretty much full time ever since. And you're gonna cross the Indian Ocean with us. That's a big passage. Will that be your longest? Uh, it ties. I cross the Pacific as well. So uh, at 3,500 nautical miles, that's definitely a tie. I'm excited about that. And then our friends from Palm 3 were leaving and we were still waiting for Victor and the party. The rally had a final farewell dinner with music, and there was even a hip hop competition, which is really a lot of fun. If you want to see the words to our entry, look at the comments below. Unfortunately, no video of Brian and I performing. Final straw, parents, we cry! The following day we checked out of the country that would give us 24 hours to leave, but then the next day Victor's plane was late and he didn't arrive in time. We were asked to leave the marina because immigration was going to have a visit and they wouldn't want to see us staying past 24 hours. So we motored over to the next bay and Pierre came back in the dinghy to get the parts. Since it was late in the day, we decided to leave the very next morning. There was no wind as we turned around the island to enter the pass. We head up the full main and progress slowly with one motor on because we were a little bit early for the ideal current to take the pass. As the wind came up, we put out the Chenneker. Right now we're still about 90 degrees, uh -huh. so that's about as much as I can. But as the wind keeps backing, if it does, then we'll just keep moving yourself forward. we entered the pass, we started to see small sailing boats that were returning towards Lombok. There were so many of them that at first we thought it was a race, but then we realized that some of them had nets on board and it must be just hundreds of small fishing boats that were coming back towards Lombok before they would face a very strong outward current. With a changing wind direction and increasing wind speed, we rolled the Jenniker and put out our Genoa. So we had to turn to go by the stern of that ship. A little close. There are hundreds of boats going by on these little boats. Oh, here comes another one right in front of us. There are small boats as far as the eye can see, just everywhere. So they have full ceiling lights. So we are supposed to avoid if there is a potential collision. Yeah, because we're on port back. Yes. Current is changing and uh, we've just picked up the outward current. 
It's uh, 9 in the morning. And we've got the outward current just starting. And our speed keeps increasing. 15 knots. And that's because the current that we're in now. In the Lombok Passage here. As we are leaving Indonesia. Now we're going up to 20 knots. I've had people ask me what it's like to go fast in Neutromare 5X. Of course, it depends on the wave action. And the waves now weren't too big. They would get bigger later. So it was pretty smooth. We started to get some wind against current and the wind was piping up, so it started to get kind of rough. of the Gliwo rally and people can follow us on Predict Win. I started to get some WhatsApp messages commenting on our speed. There's a lot of boat noise when you're sailing this fast and you really need to be on top of things. So despite all the ocean spray, Pierre stayed outside at the helm. As we got out of the current, the wind also died, so we ended up having to motor. But we did have a beautiful sunset at the end of the day, and it was a great start to our Indian Ocean crossing. In the first 10 hours of our trip, we 100 miles with an average speed of 10. Next day we came across a very strange sight, given that the water depth is over 12,000 feet. Oh, we're going over the rope! Mooring pile in 12,000 feet of water. And the last time I heard of one of those, it was off uh, Papua New Guinea and it was drugs. Really? Could be worth millions. Hey, Mr. Coast Guard, should we go back? <laughs> She's in her favorite spot. Looking at the horizon. Karen's favorite spot. Preparing to jog.
because he didn't bear off quick enough so he doesn't want me to keep it but you know selling's not everything perfect so i might show a, a few shots of it so nothing broke no to do your walk around once a day Hit with these fast boats. One little mistake in launching the Genoa, and what happened was that the uh, the uh, sheet got caught around where the um, I just woke up where my fishing rod is and where our life sling is. It bent the whole titanium metal back, and I thought I lost my rod because I had taken it in the shower last night to wash it, but I did tie it back up, so we were able to recover it. So happy end of the story because that's my very best fishing rod. In our next video, we'll be visiting Cocos Island before our departure for the next leg of the Indian Ocean crossing. appreciate it if you subscribe and give us a like. And if you like these videos, consider a donation to the Alliance to Cure. This is a foundation that we support. They are trying to find a cure for the disease of cerebral cavernous malformation. And you can find more information on the comments, the links in the comments below and also on our website.